We're going to take a penny's podcast on the road. We're going to Troy Middle School, Claude Brown Elementary, and we're going to visit with students at TMS and CBE about one thing they learned this this school year that really stood out to them. Uh, things they're going to do over the summer, and then uh, are they excited about Summer Math Academy? Well, I got a call last Thursday from the Governor Nixon's office that he would like to come to Troy Buchanan High School and have an assembly with my students. And uh, Dr. Raines and I began to uh, uh, int be intrigued about what was he coming to talk about. So with the help of Assistant Superintendent Charlie Branham, we were able to get in touch with the, the Governor's office and he wanted to come and talk about uh, a safe room grant that the Lincoln County R3 School District had applied for uh, months ago, but that we had risen to the top of the applications, and he certainly uh, wanted to support uh, a safe room here in Lincoln County and in the Lincoln County R3 School District. So we were very happy that Governor Nixon was able to come and visit with uh, more than 1,000 students at uh, Troy Buchanan High School today on Monday, May the 19th. I walked that hallway the day after it occurred, it was chilling to look up and see how the roof was gone. Yeah, on our YouTube channel, on our front page of our website, on our Facebook page, you'll be able to check out footage of Governor Nixon's remarks uh, during his time here at Troy Buchanan High School. But sometimes I like to close my eyes and imagine what it'd be like when summer does come. <sighs> so we have over 2,300 students in the Summer Math Academy here in the Lincoln County R3 School District beginning June 3rd. And we'll have those students housed at Boone Elementary, Lincoln Elementary, Main Street Elementary, Troy Middle School, and Troy Buchanan High School. And uh, the students will be learning uh, for a 15-day period, half days, uh, learning about math concepts and things to help strengthen their uh, math skills uh, in order for them to be successful next year and in future years. Uh, as an incentive for those students that uh, obtain a 90% or higher attendance rate of those 15 days, uh, we are going to provide each student with a 7-inch uh, Android tablet uh, that will become a personal technology device that we would like for the students to bring back to school uh, in the 2014-15 school year to utilize in the classroom and the teachers will utilize those into their lesson plans. Well, I want to thank Mr. Todd Culbertson and uh, the Assistant Superintendent and with the work of our staff and our curriculum department, Dr. Mary Ingmeyer and many of our elementary principals, we've been able to hire summer interns to serve as the, the, the principals in their summer math academy and more, the more uh, than uh, 95 teachers that we've hired over the summer to be working with those 2,300 students really excites me. Um, but uh, this is a uh, cost neutral program. We receive uh, each day that the students come an average daily attendance, we receive uh, compensation back from the state government to fund this uh, summer math academy. So we're excited about that, but haven't been able to offer that for many years due to budgetary constraints. But this year we really feel like that we'd be able to offer that, plus the brunch uh, and transportation and provide a cost neutral program. Good afternoon, welcome to Penny's Podcast. And I have Alexa, Aaron, and Soraya, students here at Troy Middle School, and just some things, questions I wanted to ask them regarding their summer. Now all three of you are going to the Summer Math Academy, mm -hmm. and what excites you? Why did you sign up for the 15 days or so? I signed up because um, my little sister, she doesn't really know, she's not really good at math, so I did it so that I could and I encouraged her to do it so she would learn more and everything. So I did it so when I learn it, I can go home and teach her how to do it and so that she's ready for next year. And how old is your little sister? She's going to be in third grade. Third grade, okay. Yeah. Now you know that for every student, we have over 2,300 students that are signed up for Summer Math Academy, that for every student that comes at least 90% of the time, or perfect attendance, gets a seven inch Android tablet personal device. Were you aware of that? Yeah. Have you heard about that? Okay. Yeah, well, we think that's going to be a great incentive that students uh, and third graders <coughs> yeah. that will want to have their own device so they can get on the internet. And then we want you to bring those back to school next year and your teachers will incorporate into the, incorporate the technology into their lessons. Viewers, this is my friend Emily, a kindergartner here at Claude Brown Elementary in Mrs. Hugh Notes' class. And are you going to Summer Math Academy? Yeah. And what are you most excited about at Summer Math Academy? At, at the end of the day, we're going to get iPads. Oh, you're going to get iPads. Are you going to get some technology, to, a device, a personal device that you can take home uh -huh. or bring back to Claude Brown when you're a first grader? Uh -huh. Great. Thank you, Emily. Folks, my friend Emily's coming to Summer Math Academy. Uh, look forward to see her over the next, in the 15 days of Summer Math Academy. Great job, Emily. Yeah. Imagine how much cooler I'll be in summer. Be going to Washington, D.C., taking a group. Uh, we're going to go to the Capitol, 
Pentagon, all the sites that we see on TV are going to come to life for the kids. I'll also be coaching a wrestling camp, a football camp, and a track camp uh, this summer. In addition to uh, helping my mom out on a couple of her houses and uh, doing some tutoring and then just some uh, downtime, catch up on the housework. So looking forward to it. Well, we're going to take a trip to Hawaii and we're going to visit the islands of Maui and Kauai and also um, Pearl Harbor. And then we're also taking a second uh, family vacation with our children to Florida. Awesome. And uh, if, do you work in the summer and if so, what do you do? I am a stay-at-home mom and wife, so I take care of the house and the, um, the yard and we'll be helping to get my son ready to begin college. And what are you looking forward to this summer? For this summer, I'm looking forward to going back in the classroom and teaching fourth graders, which is very fun for the Summer Math Academy. And then after that, I am fishing with my family in Canada, and I would look forward to that, and also working in the Bright Futures closet on organizing the supplies. And this summer, I am super excited to have a building in which we can continue to organize and structure things since we didn't have that time last summer. So catch things up and modify and change some procedures for next year. Hey, welcome to Penny's Podcast. I have Michael, a friend of mine, a third grader here at Claude Brown Elementary. And uh, Michael, I had a few questions I wanted to ask you. What are you looking forward to over the summer? Putting my pool up and swimming. Okay. You like to swim? Great, great. And you had Mrs. Buck mm -hmm. as your teacher. And what would you say was one of the most important things that you learned this year in the third grade in Mrs. Buck's class? Multiplication, dividing. Do you like math? Yeah. It's my favorite subject. Favorite subject's math? That's awesome. Erin, what are you looking forward to this summer? Um, I'm not sure. We might go to an ocean. And um, there's a lot of stuff we're going to do. So. Yeah, good, good. How about you, Alexa? Um, probably just go swimming and hang out with my friends. Hang out at the aquatic center? Do you go there? Or, yeah, okay, great. Um, what was the most important item that you learned this year in school? Math. Math. Because uh, last year I was having a hard time with multiplication mm -hmm. and things and Miss Cook really helped us Good. like teach us how to multiply better and faster. Great. So. Surya? Um, my favorite subject is math, and I've like always loved math, and I'm hoping that I can keep going and like math because I want to be a doctor when I grow up, so awesome. I want to keep going with math. Yeah, good. Alexa? Well, my favorite class was civics. Civics? Because, um, it's pretty fun, and we get to do fun things. And who was your civics teacher? Mr. Wiggins. Mr. Wiggins. Tell me about your uh, the job that you had here at Claude Brown Elementary. Well... Whenever like people would come in and they wanted to check out the school, then I would take them a, um, a tour around um, the hallways and show them what class and everything. How, how did that make you feel to be picked to, to do that here at Claude Brown Elementary? Really good, but it's also really nervous. Mm -hmm. And what was so nervous about just meeting new people or just yeah. make sure you did a, talking, a good job? Talking to to them. Talking to adults sometimes, but you don't seem very nervous today. I'm really proud of, of the oh, way no, you interacted. Oh, no, I was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anything else you'd like to share with my viewers on Penny's podcast? Um, that Miss Buck is the best teacher ever. Time to give a shout out because we're so proud of you. We're happy that you work for us and hope that you are too. I want to shout out to Dr. Jerry Raines uh, for being very flexible and uh, helping me uh, host the governor and his, and his entourage. Uh, here today with safety and security being at the utmost importance with the uh, uh, very impressed with Missouri Highway Patrol and Dr. Range, your staff uh, did an outstanding job but more importantly your students uh, the Troy Buchanan High School students were so patient during the um, the time that it took the governor to go from different meetings that he had before he came to address the entire school assembly and our students were just outstanding so I thank you uh, Troy Buchanan High School students for making us uh, look very um, uh, look very good in the eyes of the highest elected official in our state. So great job, Troy Buchanan High School. I want to thank Janine Scarce and uh, Mike Comer and Don Richardson and uh, Gary and Curtis and uh, Miss Hennebrink and all the team at uh, uh, Troy Buchanan High School, parking lot Bob, um, uh, School Resource Officer Lieutenant Wicks and Sergeant Bowen. Thank you so much for making the governor's visit today uh, very memorable. And uh, it takes, certainly takes a team 
uh, and we have very dedicated professionals that were there to help. And I uh, want to thank Aaron Flanagan for his uh, assistance with uh, technology at that at the press conference today. And again, just really proud to be R3. And today was another example of why I have the best superintendent's job in the state. And, and remember, can. Lincoln County R3, what are you doing to make us the premier school district in the state? Going places that I've never been Seeing things that I may never see again And I can't wait to get on the road again